<laughs> hey, guys, listen up. Listen up. Our coach, I think he's... That he's what? A junkie. Are you stupid, Andrew? I just saw it with my own eyes, OK? Is this some kind of sick joke? I just saw him shooting up back there. There's no way. That's why he seems so antsy. He's an athlete. He's not like that. What, you think he's clean just because he's an athlete? So what are we shooting now, boys? Oh, yeah, I was just telling the guys about the movie I saw the other day. Uh, great action with lots of gun shooting and crazy explosions. I <laughs> need this excitement from all of you to advance in tournaments. Let me remind all of you, you need to work your hardest. I'll be counting on all of you. This applies to you as well. That's 14. Wait, 15. It's crazy. Nothing works, but I'd still have to pay rent. Nick, turn on these rows here. Can we talk? Just a moment. OK, I can see that now. I'm listening. We have a game with the Panthers soon. Yeah, I know. So what? I need video records of the old games. <clears throat> That's not my job. What do you do? Aren't you the sports director? And so? Do you have the video records or not? Yes, I do. I have a whole notebook of records here. Now what? <sighs> so tell me this. Do you actually have records of previous games at all? Listen, you're bothering me. Do you think you're in the NHL? What records? Go look at the board in the hallway. It's all there. Just check it. If not, you can film the games yourself. There's no budget for a cameraman to film the matches. OK, Nick, you can switch these off now. All right, then. I have another question. Why doesn't the team have a dryer? A dryer for what? to dry their uniforms. They should do that at home. I don't think that's right. When was the last time you were outside? It's not Detroit or Calgary here. You find a room and you dry clothes in it. You don't find one, then you play what? Anything else? A dryer. It's your brain that's dry. That's what it is. Nick, I got it. Switch on the one near the net. Oh, will you look at our hockey player? Hey, Grandma. Get settled now. It's time for dinner. Sorry, Grandma, but I just came to change. Too many orders, huh? Yes, a few. I have five for today. Uh, then I'll get you some sandwiches to go, OK? You don't have to, Gran. Why not? I had a big lunch at school. I know your food is in school. Hold on, I'll be right back. Wait. Gran. Just a moment. Are you gonna sleep here again? Am I not allowed? I'd definitely go home if I were you. All right. You know, Alex, I really don't mind. But the best cure for emotional trauma is a mother's cooking at home. Take this. What? It's a letter from your special land. Unless you like hanging on to every paycheck. <laughs> it's for the rent. Yeah, it's for rent. Uh-huh, that is for the rent. All right, let's go now then. I mean, shall we go? We shall.
Listen, I really don't care what they think. I'm the prosecutor, and I'm the one who makes decisions. Now you tell them that, okay? Dad, why are you here? I just came by to get the corkscrew. screwed. <laughs> Someone ruined your mood, huh? People tend to do that, including my own son. What did I do now? Oh, nothing about you. Why did Theodore call me and tell me that Jane was crying all night? Oh, now there's our ray of hope. <laughs> Will you look at his car? He can't even afford a decent one, huh? I guess they didn't pay him much for seven games in the NHL. <laughs> hey there, Serge. Is there a problem? Yeah, I think my battery died. Ooh, I can give you a ride, you know. That's kind of you, but no, I'll just take the bus. Uh, oh, well, we could actually go out for a couple of drinks, have a chat, and maybe have shots of <laughs> some tea. <laughs> you and I got off to a rough start. Thanks for the offer, but I don't drink. Shots of tea, sorry. Oh, okay. All the best, then. You be careful when you ride on those buses. People pick pockets. I will. I don't like him one bit, my dear. Well, uh, we'll deal with him. <sighs> so tell me what happened. Well, nothing happened. Hello? Yes. No, no face-to-face -face meetings. Yes, that's good. Do I have to teach you everything? Anyway, <clears throat> I won't let you abuse Jane. No one's abusing her, okay? Shut up and listen. If you can't get all your ducks in a row, I need you to use your brain, okay? She's an amazing girl. She's amazing, right? She's smart and graceful. And she's from a reputable family. What's her family got to do with it? Really? When cops stopped you and you didn't have a license, who'd you call? Oh, that's right. You called her father. Only because you weren't around. Don't you dare talk back to me. You think you got it now? Like you can be on your own? But later you'll look back and say, Jesus, Dad was right. You said it yourself. You said that you're really like Jane, remember? I said that a year ago, Dad. Well, a year from now, it'll be different again, won't it? I can't talk right now. Listen to me. Here's the short of it. If you behave well, We'll be okay, get me? If not, it's your head on the line. Dad. Yes? Yes, I'm on my way. Dad! Now. I just said I'm on my way! But, Dad! Hello, I have your delivery. I believe you ordered a book online. I think your intercom isn't working. Hi there. Oh, hello there. Uh, do you want to come in? I'm fine. I'll wait here. <laughs> Is this for you? No, I think it's for you. It's that book you said. Oh, that's good to know. Great. Eileen, dear, bring me my wallet, please. It should be in my coat. Okay. Remind me, how much do I owe you again? What? I just asked you how much it is. Oh, right, yeah. It's $6.50. All right, here you go. Thank you so much. And my book, young man? Oh, I'm so sorry. Here. Good day, ma'am. What a funny guy. He was so anxious he was sweating. Probably his first day on the job. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Oh. Maria, you can't be here. You have to go. Relax, I'm not here for you, okay? <gasps> oh. Hey, Simon. Um, hello. How are you doing? W well, I'm all right. Um, do you have plans for tonight? Uh, you mean me? Why don't you take me out? Hmm? Maria, what's happening here? What's happening here is Simon asked me out to the movies, right? Hey, Simon, wake up. Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> he was literally dreaming. <laughs> Good morning. I gave you my grip. Where is it? Hello, everyone. Oh, Andrew. Hey, man. Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Guys, check this out. Cool, huh? What is this for? Are Ooh. you kidding? It's for none other than our NHL star. 
That's not funny. It isn't funny at all. This is a very serious issue. I think you've gone too far. Don't lecture me, okay? Lecture someone else. What about? I just wanted to put up this nice little poster. Why, does anyone have a drug problem here? I don't think there is one. Not us. Let it stay that way. Yeah, we'll do that. So, do you agree with the content? I mean, yeah, I do agree. So, can I put it up? You can, but don't do it now. Practice is in two minutes. You haven't geared up yet. Guys, hurry up! But it was funny, right? Listen up. Do you remember the situation in the standings? Yes. Great, that's good. We play against the Panthers in three days. If we beat them, we're put back in fifth place. Well, we just beat them like a month ago. That means they've learned their lesson. We're gonna have to make some changes. What changes? I'll tell you later, Gregor. Right now, I'm talking about today's practice session. Let's start with speed. Begin at the starting line. Then fast break on the blue line. You have to pass the neutral zone in three seconds tops. Wow, that's impossible. Two is impossible, three is fine. What does he mean by that? So you He's busy drawing. Here. And here, oh, right, pictures always do look pretty. <laughs> Did you call the administration? <laughs> the yeah, and? Two, all clear. Five grand solved the problem. This exercise is aimed at Good job. Puck rush. Makes sense? Yes. yes. Back in line, everybody. <laughs> Remember, you have three seconds. Look alive, Michael. Hey, Andrew, don't you slack over there. Hey, George. What's up? What is Petrovsky doing in the starting lineup? Why, what's the problem? Can't you see? He can't do shit. Oh, but his dad surely can. Oh, now that makes sense. So that's why he's in the starting lineup. Listen, Serge. We're all on your side, but maybe we shouldn't change the lineup right before the game. So he knows, huh? Well, he is a pro. Andrew! Stop jogging already! I told you three seconds to pass the zone! I can't do it any faster! I really think you can. Gregor. Time us. Andrew and I will race. Do you mind? Of course not. Let's go then. Gregor, time please. Three seconds. There you go. You can do it if you want to. Okay, on to the second drill. Move! Hey, Andrew. Looks like he got you again. Obviously, he's high as a kite. All I have is my enthusiasm. Hey! 15 minutes to change, then we're going outside. I'll wait for you there. That's not enough. We used to get 30. Well, that was before, Andrew. Speed it up! I know you can! I've seen you do it! Hey, Andrew. Why do you keep picking on him? No, I'm not. He's picking on us. But unlike all of you, I care. Damn crackhead. Well, he just played along after that. What are you staring at? Do you have a minute? There's something I've been wanting to tell you. Don't bother. Let me tell him this one joke I know. Okay, so seven boxers come into a photo studio and say, can you take a picture of the three of us standing here and the four of them attacking us? The guy says, all right, I'll do it, but what for? Our coach asked for a three by four photo. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So, 7 p.m. at the cafe, like we discussed? Okay. Okay. Let's go, Alex. Let's go. Wait. You wanted to tell him a joke, am I right? Alex, 
You're a smart guy. I hope you're not planning to simply run your mouth. Do you understand me? Good boy. I always believed in you. Hey, what are you waiting for? Keep going! Don't take shortcuts! Simon! I see you! Serge, about Petrovsky. Don't mess with him. Let him be in the starting lineup. I heard you, George. Loud and clear. I got it. Really? Good. Vadim is right. Don't bother them before the game. Last push! Let's go! Come on, come on! That's it! We're done here! Now some stretching. Do some twists and turns. Come on! Tomorrow's practice is at 12 o'clock sharp. I want everyone to be there, okay? Sir, I wanted to take some time off. Don't do it. I repeat, I want to see everyone tomorrow, okay? Why? What's going to happen? You'll see. Surprise? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. You could say that. A nice surprise? <laughs> Even funnier, Simon. It might be nice for some, but not for everyone. Ooh. Okay, I'll see you all tomorrow. Simon, if you do that again, we're going to have a problem. What did I do? Nothing yet. Guys, what surprise do you think our coach has it's for obvious, us? obvious, isn't it? He has a new job now. So what? He owes us a round of beers. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm serious. By the way, I read on the internet recently that our coach used to hang out with Buddha at one point. So what? Well, maybe he'll give us a master class as a gift. <laughs> well, yeah, that'd be awesome. You're getting overexcited. Try not to wet yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right, like Buddha has nothing better to do in life. They are friends. He just might come. Yeah, the three of them. Buddha, Gretzky, and Phil Esposito. <laughs> <laughs> defense again, aren't you? What do you mean? I mean, you need to advance. I think she has a boyfriend. Edward! Keep the rhythm! Oh, you heard that? It's not a boyfriend. It's just Ed. <laughs> Go for it. No, old man, I'm all full up, uh-huh. Well, put it on the balcony. Oh, you don't have one. <laughs> You'll have to build one. All right, okay. Yeah, bye. You have a minute? Yeah. Where were you? I thought we were done. We are. What kind of room is this? The storage room. Whose room? The facilities. That so? The wheels are too? I don't know. For you. What's that? A camera. You're gonna film the games. I am? Who else? <laughs> Vadim said we don't have a cameraman post here. Oh. Hey. Hello there. Hey, Dad, I'm so screwed right now. I, I think my car was stolen. Really? You sure? Yes, I left it at the ice rink, but now it's gone. Now, you listen to me carefully. I wanted to play nice, but I guess you just don't really get it. You'll have to live without a car until you and Jane make up. Dad, are you serious? Dad? yourself hey by the way how's your new coach do you like him different to the old man they're polar opposites i just heard people say your coach is really weird who said that 
No one. So, <laughs> tell me, do you want to see your goal? I do. <laughs> Where'd you get this? Lena recorded it. I got it from her. Watch. Ooh. Yeah? Can you send this to me? Okay. Wait, I got this. Wait a minute. What exactly is it? What? Maria. Why did Andrew call you three times, huh? What the hell? Simon! What? Where are the wheels? What wheels? The round ones. There were wheels here earlier. Our coach said it's now our drying room for our gear. Say what? Drying room. Uh-huh. I see now. Well, Vadim, congratulations. What? That Serge, he removed my wheels from the storage. Where are the wheels now? I don't know. You can ask him. Maria, why did Andrew call you? He was just looking for you. How did he get your number? Do you even realize I have the numbers of everyone on your team? Simon? Michael? Oh, here's Dan. Maria. Dad. Is someone being jealous? Why was he looking for me? Mm-hmm. So you are jealous. Okay. Hello, Andrew. Listen, I have the captain of your team right here in front of me. He's anxious to know why you called me three times yesterday. Please explain to him why you were looking for him. Yes, Andrew. What two tickets? No, that's not my kind of music, thanks. See ya. Well, any questions? I'm sorry, Maria. Mm, it doesn't count. You owe me an orange juice and a croissant. It's a deal. <laughs> Serge, I assume you're about to leave now. You assumed right. Do you have questions? Well, I have one, just a small one. So please tell me, where did all the wheels from the storeroom go? I need to know. Where do you think? They're at the service entrance in the hallway. Is there a problem with that? The administration has a problem with that. That's weird. I talked to the director of the ice rink and he said he'd never heard anything about the wheels. So now this room is for drying the team's gear. I hope the other coach doesn't mind. The room isn't fit for drying. There's no air movement. You can leave your gear there and it just won't. Hold on, Serge, listen. I don't know if you know this, but have you ever heard of the wise saying, don't bite off more than you can chew? <laughs> oh, I have. And it's a good one. I know a lot of limericks too. Here's one for you. Jack and Jill are thick as thieves. They know all about hockey leagues. By the way, there's a vent there. It just needs fixing. So, what now? Huh. I wonder, which one of us is Jill? What do you mean? Good evening. I'll take a bottle of still water, please. Can you please hurry up already? Thank you. Ma'am, can I get two packs of those cigarettes? Thank you. Sorry, miss, but you gave me too much change. Oh, see, Simon? There are still some decent people. Serge, nice to see you. Don't you recognize me? We just met yesterday. Dad. Now, hold on. This is an old friend. My son and I are on our way home after practice. Remember I told you yesterday? How could I forget? Dad. I said, hold on. 
We're playing the Panthers on Thursday. You coming? I think so. You know we have a new coach. Hope he's smart enough. He'll put a good goalie at the net. Then we'll have every chance to actually win a game, right? I want us to win. Hey, Dad. Will you quit calling me Dad? Am I not talking to my friend? I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. It's okay. I hope everything will be fine. Same here. Maybe the new coach can drive those thugs away so at long last the real players can play. Oh, I think he can. I hope so. All the best to you. See you at the match. I look forward to it. I'll be there. I'll see ya. Hey, Dad. Don't you know any other words? Dad, 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 Dad. What now? That was our new coach. Where? That guy. Serge. Serge Mikheyev is our coach. Simon. Couldn't you? Serge! Serge, can we have a word? Vadim, <coughs> we have to do something. Like what? Punch him in the face? For what he did? Why not? <sighs> Punching people in the face is immature. You and I are going to do this like adults. And how exactly do adults handle Load this? Load the wheels. I'm loading. No, you're loading me. Load the wheels already. <sighs> Mr. Serge! I'm so sorry, I didn't know. Don't worry about it. I was just rambling. It's all right, it's all right. If it's all right with you, will you tell me why Simon here is benched all the time, huh? I mean, he's a great goalie. I agree. He shows good results on penalties. See? In-game, he lacks concentration. What's that? What does he lack now? Concentration. I just knew it. What can we do about it, though? I think... Practice helps. But he already practices all day, every day. But that's not enough. I'm really sorry, but I have to go now. Oh, of course. Sorry for the inconvenience. Concentration. That means we have to work on it more. Concentration. Thank you so much, Serge. Bye. Got it? Concentration. Good evening. Lieutenant Peterson, can I see some ID? Um, <clears throat> I don't have it with me. You don't? Where are you going without ID? I'm not going anywhere. So then, what are you doing here? Am I not allowed? Right, got it. Is that your bag? Yes. Open it. Why? What do you mean, why? What's in it? A jersey. What jersey? A hockey jersey. Here. Where'd you steal it? What? I didn't steal it. It's my jersey, okay? Look at this. A wandering hockey player without documents, sleeping at the train station. Back up. You're coming with us. Where? Come on, come on. Where to? To play hockey. Yeah, hello. It is. Who's this? Yes, hi. Yes, I know him. Alexander Kostrov. Where? What's he doing there? Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Hey there, Grant. Why are you awake? It's just insomnia. What happened to you? <sighs> Nothing happened to me. My blood pressure just spiked. Dad came by? <sighs> yes, he did. Bastard asked for money. Gran, I'm going to smash his face in one day. <sighs> Michael. We just talked, that's all. 
I know how he only talks to you when he needs money for booze. Are you hungry? Do you want food? No, thank you. Here. Your monthly wage? Two weeks' wage. You're such a good boy, Michael. <laughs> well, now that you feel better, let's go to bed and get some rest. Michael. Yeah? How do you even find time to do your homework after all you do? I have plenty of time at school. Don't you need to study? I do have recess, don't I? <laughs> Want some hot tea? Thank you so much. I'm sorry about what happened back there. It's okay. Let me give you a ride home. Mm, nope. I'm not going home. Okay, get in. I told you I'm not going. Get in, we'll figure it out. Simon! What is that? Put that crap away. Dad, I'm studying astronomy. You can study it for years, but you'll never get closer to the stars. Go on, get up against the wall. We're going to train your concentration. But why to the wall, Dad? You're going to catch some eggs. Uh, are you insane? See? I was ready for that kind of question. Do you know Patrick Roy, the goalie son? Of course I do. Read. Patrick Roy was born 1965 in Canada. Dad, I already know all this. You know nothing. His father was simple, a farmer like me, a laborer. And he loved hockey as well. He used to put little Patrick up against the wall and train his reaction by throwing eggs at him. And you know what else was interesting? Since it was a family business, young Patrick tried his best not to drop one single egg, you see? So go on now, get up against the wall. Dad, are you crazy? Come on, hurry. You'll thank me later. But, Dad, we're gonna make a mess. Don't you dare make a mess. Don't you ever. Goalie stance. Concentrate. Oh, good job, Simon. Oh, good job, Simon. Right, excellent. Two eggs at once. But, Dad, Simon! No, Dad! Get him, Simon! Catch! Come in. Sorry, place is a mess. I just moved in. Right, toilet. Bathroom, you will sleep here. Okay. Are you hungry? No, I'm fine, really. Suit yourself. We have to get up early tomorrow. I'll get you some sheets. Okay, a sheet, a pillow, a towel, that's it. There. Thank you. That's your Canadian trainer, right? No. That's Bobby Hughes, a legendary doctor. You could say he literally fixed me. Relax, it's just a painkiller. Were you badly injured? Talk tomorrow. Good night. You're not a goalie, you're a hole. No one plays hockey with eggs. But you can't even catch an egg, let alone a hockey puck. We should have eaten them. I'm sick of eating eggs. All we ever have are scrambled eggs and omelets, Dad. So what, you're a prince now? Don't like omelets or scrambled eggs? You can maybe... I don't know. Have them hard-boiled? Okay, your mother is gonna be home soon. She'll cook something nice. Now let me finish the article about good goalies. Oh. A crossword. Dad, where do you get that newspaper? Why does it matter? It was in the pantry. Did you even see the date on it? Hmm? What date? It's April 1st. So what? What do you mean? It's it's a prank, you know? It's just a joke. A joke? My son is a joke. The fact that you're always on the bench is a permanent joke. Go clean yourself up. You look terrible. You stink a bit too.
Anyway. Please don't lie. Oh, the weather. 78 degrees tomorrow. Brad, have you seen my skates in here? Michael, I think they were in your room, aren't they always? No, they aren't there now. Well, try to remember where you put them yesterday. I remember clearly. Yesterday I put them in the corner as usual, then I went to work. Hold on. Did Dad go into my room? Yes, I think he did. Grant, did he or did he not? He did go inside. Did he have a gray bag on him? Yes, over the shoulder. Shit. Michael! next what happened he broke my stick and I walked out the door mm-hmm so when did you leave four days ago what about your parents well, what about me it's a vicious circle Alex I'll tell you this only once so listen closely all right a hockey player is a warrior. A warrior's home is his rear. If there are problems at the rear, you won't ever show good results on the ice. Got it? Bon appetit. Hello. Where are my skates? What skates now? The ones you stole. What do you mean I stole? I don't steal. Better watch that mouth of yours, boy. Why are you accusing me of stealing anything? What would you call it then? I borrowed them for a while, son. Is that bad? Maybe I just wanted to skate, okay? You pawned them? I didn't just pawn them. How was I supposed to make it to the month's end, huh? I don't have a cent to my name. When I get paid, I'll buy you everything. Skates, the skis, just about anything you want. You really are a bastard. D don't speak that way to your father. Hey, son! I'll buy you anything. Anything you want. Hello. Stan, come on, hurry up, we'll be late. Calm down, will you, Holly? Calm down. What time is his practice again? At 12. We have 30 minutes, then. Oh, relax, we have enough time. Oh, where's the gift? Here it is. I'm telling you, calm down. <sighs> we have time. That's quite a bargain. A nice one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hello. Alex. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, Dad. Okay, easy now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies. Did I miss anything? What do you mean? 
coach promised a surprise, oh, right? Yeah, that's right. I wonder what he has in store for us. I think he's gonna roll us a fancy joint that'll send us flying around the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Can you stop it already, huh? He got injured in the NHL. That's why he's shooting painkillers. How do you know that? I just do. That's why he only played seven games back then, okay? Hey, Serge, Godspeed! Hello to you too, Basil. How's your leg? Well, it's still working. Well, that's good. Have you settled in already? Yeah, slowly but surely. That's great to know. Thank you very much, Basil. For what? I heard you were the one that tipped Alec off about me, right? He thought of you himself, you know. I merely supported him. Well, thanks anyway. You're very much welcome, I guess. You have a hell of a job ahead of you. You know I like a challenge, Basil. Look alive! Move faster! You have 40 seconds before we begin. Hey, Michael! Why aren't you out here yet? I asked you a question, didn't I? Michael's skates were stolen yesterday. I'm talking to Michael, am I not? I'm listening. I decided to take the bus to get to practice, but then... But then? I got distracted and my bag disappeared. <laughs> I see. We used to fight over decent skates back in my day. Okay then. Split up into zones. We're speed skating. The blue team starts. Okay, come on, let's go. today. Hey, hey, coach. What about the surprise? Oh, it's coming. I'm announcing the lineups for the game against the Panthers. You guys ready? All right. Let's go. Listen up, okay? The first team is Gregor, Shukin, Kislyak, Kostrov, Kuznetsov, Mishkin. Hey, Vadim. Can you come to the rink right now? It's urgent. All right, but listen when? up. Here's Shiz, the second team. Going down. They are Skvotsov. Glebnikov, Sharipov, and the third team is Gribkov, Andreev, Petrov, Makarchuk, Soldatov. Goalies are Danny and Simon. Sorry, coach, but I think you missed some names. I'm aware of that. Those names I didn't call aren't needed on this team anymore. Don't bother coming to practice, you're done. Does this mean you're kicking us out? What do you think? You better find something else to do. You have no right to do this. Oh, really? As far as I remember, we are an amateur club, and I don't think you signed any contracts. Okay, then. Those I mentioned, see you at practice tomorrow. For the rest, good luck. All the best. <laughs> 